Hello friends, welcome back to our Power Contest channel. So today we are going to see about few of the frequently asked questions about the SIH and how to conduct the internal hackathon within the college as many of our faculty friends and many uh, institutions uh, organizers asked about uh, what is this internal hackathon and how to conduct this. So what are the frequently asked questions from the students? The first question is whether the students can register for the SIH 2020. See, we have already done a video on SIH Info 2020. In that I have said about it clearly. But once again I am repeating that. In this uh, years of Smart India Hackathon, they have clearly mentioned that a college can nominate only up to 5 projects in software category and 2 projects in hardware category. And this nominations also can be given only through the SPOC. The SPOC is the single point of contact. So, the students cannot directly apply uh, the uh, proposal in the SIH portal. They have to apply through the, your college SPOC. And the second question what the students ask is, who is this SPOC, whether my college is having an SPOC. Uh, friends, in India, most of the institutions are only linked to the AICT. And this SIH is organized by AACT and MHRD. So, all the colleges will be actively participating in this contest. So, all the colleges would have registered their SPOC. The SPOC, the single point of contact, uh, your institution will have up to uh, two uh, members as SPOC. Mostly, the faculty members will be nominated as the SPOC. You can talk to your HOD faculty members or your principal about who is your SPOC and he will be guiding you through the entire process. So next important question what the students are asking about the uh, problem statements and how to choose the problem statements and that also we have made a video on how to choose the problem statement that is uh, you can choose on your based on your interest or you can uh, give a uh, pain point solution uh, for that particular problem statements you can uh, visit the video uh, in our uh, channel about the art of selection of uh, problem statements and you can really see the entire details there. The next important question uh, uh, from the faculty side, uh, especially from the tier 3 or polytechnics colleges faculties that what is how to conduct the internal hackathon. See hackathon is a kind of an event which is uh, organized for hours or even days. So mostly the colleges uh, in any type of colleges will have conducted uh, mostly about the project exhibition kind of an event where the students will be developing their project on their own in their house or in their uh, uh, personal uh, area and they will uh, just uh, demonstrate the project in front of the jury. But hackathon has a small change in that kind of thing where the students has to develop the entire uh, project before the panel of jury members for an hours or for a, a days. Especially in SIH for the software edition you will be continuously coding for around uh, 36 hours and in the hardware hackathon you will be continuously working for 5 days. But there are some limitations and uh, you can uh, develop partial amount of coding of your own uh, because in the SIH hardware edition when you go selected for the finals last two years the students requested to develop their project before itself and they can take their project in the hand and showcase their in the SIH uh, hardware uh, juries where it will be considered for evaluation also. So based on the requirements, the rules may change. So few important points that I have to tell you about the conduction of internal hackathon. See, first of all, you have to uh, give a circular to the students about this SIH. I think most of the institutions would have given the circular and uh, tell your students to register that team in your uh, personal uh, college website or with the help of a Google form where the students uh, can form a team of up to six members and clearly mentioned that the team should have a, a girl candidate that is a woman candidate and uh, give a faculty as a mentor if possible you, if you have the caliber of uh, giving a industrial support mentor you can assign an industrial mentor external to your uh, institution which will be very useful for the students to develop their project in a industrial standard way and the next one is we have to frame a rules for conducting the internal hackathon and I think SIH will be doing a video on a internal hackathon conduction you can see the rules framing there also or else you can form your rules based on the uh, 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 problem statements that students are going to select and you can uh, 
do evaluation based on that tell them to present a powerpoint presentation in front of the judges before going for the hackathon you can utilize the previous year's ppt submission model and it could it has been available in my in our project contest blog also you can scroll the website and you can see the previous year's sih post there i have given the link of a previous year's ppt format and they tell them the students to develop the PowerPoint presentation of the problem statements based on the uh, guidance given. And after the presentation, so at least the students have to attend to 20 batches per college and give them the time. Uh, time try to conduct the hackathon at the time of uh, second week of January so that you can complete all the process and try to book all the industrial juries for your uh, internal, internal hackathon or experts from outside uh, areas also you can call and evaluate the project and you have to document the entire process because the SIHL clearly mentioned that you have to document and submit the entire uh, uh, students list who was participated in the internal hackathon and how you are going to evaluate and who is the judges you have called you have to document the entire details and you can submit in the SIH portal through your uh, SPOC login and after completing this hackathon, select up to uh, five teams in the software edition and two teams in the hardware edition. And uh, with the help of the team leaders, you can submit the entire uh, uh, documents related to the uh, problem statement developed by the students. And the team leader of the project should accept the uh, submission by the SPOC there. And after that, your project will be considered for the SIH uh, evaluation. And the next process will be started by the Smart India Hackathon team. So friends, this is about the frequently asked questions regarding the Smart India Hackathon 2020. Even though we are posting about uh, various contest ups, updates related to various events, but students are very eager about the Smart India Hackathon. So most of the problem statements given by the SIH are very, very uh, uh, new way and innovative way. And if you develop a very good solution for this uh, uh, SIH problem statements, you can go for a patent or you can go even and start your own startups there are many forums to help you in startups so friends don't miss the opportunity to win thanks for watching the video